And here we have our beautiful, beautiful specimen. Look at this guy. Several things that we need to do before we can actually make it into the dish we want. The first thing is it's kind of smelly, not overpowering, not like seafood or anything like that, but it's got kind of a strong smell. So we need to deodor it. And to do that, we're gonna have water boiling. We're gonna put onion, bay leaves, garlic, salt, cloves in there. And that sounds like awesome flavoring and it would be if it didn't have to neutralize the smell. And then we have to cook this for a long, long time, probably like two to two and a half to three hours before we can really work the magic, okay? So let's get started. An onion. Let's go ahead and stick it in the water. Some bay leaves, cloves, some garlic, and some salt. You just have to let it cook for about two and a half to three hours. You cannot overcook it. So we're waiting for this, we're gonna prepare the other stuff. We're gonna need some pineapple. Cut out the heart. The meat. While the meat is still warm, use the blade of your knife to scrape it off the cartilage and then chop it up. We get the meat on the saran wrap first, get it in a more workable location. Piece of pineapple. And now we need to wrap it. You can wrap it up like that. And there you have it, pork and pineapple sausage. The meat has already been cooked, so you don't need to like cook it again or boil it or anything like that, right? It's been cooking two and a half, three and a half hours. Just need to chill it and the gelatin will firm everything up. And once it's firmed up, then we can cut it, sear it, and serve it. So. Go ahead and throw this guy in the fridge. So, we'll grab that in a second. First, we're gonna saute some spinach because that is gonna be the bedding for the sausage. Some pepper. I'm gonna stick this to the side for a second. Move our other pan over and this is what we're gonna use to sear the sausage on. While we're waiting for our pan to get hot, we got our sausage. You're gonna go ahead and slice it like a thick salami, okay? Just gonna let it sear, you want a nice crispy bottom, okay? And then we're gonna flip it and get another nice crispy bottom. This is not enough char, so we're gonna put it back down. And then the final touch, a little bit of pork consomme sauce, which is basically that soup that we had that the everything was cooking in. You boil that down for hours and hours and hours and hours, but like eight hours later, and you'll have this nice, beautiful brown sauce. And there you go. Beautiful pork pineapple sausage with some spinach and a pork consomme sauce.